Juliette Binoche is on your screen. She's here for the photo call for the Franco-Vietnamese film um, The Pot au Feu, directed by Tran An Hung. He's in competition with uh, his film The Pot au Feu, which is a kind of stew. It's a gourmet film, and he has cooking on the stove two delicious actors, Juliette Binoche and Benoit Magimel. Tran and Hung has chosen the two actors because of their talent, but also because they're very close. In the past, both of them were in real life a couple. So now they're a couple. Uh, on the screen, as they were on the screen, uh, have been together on the screen in the past. In this film by Tran An Hung, Juliette Binoche plays the role of the cook who works for a gourmet critique, and they live together and spend a lot of time together, talk about cooking together, and they eventually fall in love. But Juliette's character prefers her freedom and has always chosen never to marry him. So. The uh, male character decides that he'll cook up a special stew to try and seduce um, Juliette Binoche. The gentleman on the left is a culinary coach who helped advise for the film. He's standing next to the director, Tran An Hung. The critics are not sure about it. The, fresh, the French press aren't really keen on the film, but the international critics seem to be rather more positive about it. So there are many comments, with lots of well, word play on cooking in the, in the critics' articles and stuff. So uh, the dish is perhaps lacking in a bit of taste for some critiques, but others find it a rather delicious concoction. So go and see the film yourself and make up your own mind. Tran and Hong, we hope that's how the name is pronounced. There's always a debate as to how to translate these Asiatic names, but uh, we're going with Tran and Hong. It's much easier, of course, to say Juliette Binoche and Benoit Magimel. These are the two actors in the film. They're very regular, Lily, here in Cannes. Benoit Magimel was here last year in competition with the film Pacification, and he got uh, a Best Actor Award for the Piano Teacher, uh, directed by Michael uh, Haneke in the past. Juliette Binoche had got a Best Actress Prize for Certified Copy, directed by Abbas Kiarostami. She was playing the role of a gallery owner in that film. So Juliette Binoche is famous for Rendezvous in André Téchiné. That was filmed in 1985. And that film got Best Director. And she's also famous for Code Unknown in 2000, directed by Michael Haneke again. And uh, Flight of the Red Balloon by Hao Haosien in the Asata Regard section in 2008. And I've already mentioned, of course, Certified Copy by Abbas Kiaras Dami, for which she got Best Actress Award. She was in uh, David Cronenberg's Cosmopolis and also in Clouds of Sils Maria by Olivier Assez, not to mention Slack Bay by Bruno Dumont, that was in 2016. All of those films that I've just mentioned were in competition here at the Cannes Film Festival. This film, The Pot au was filmed in a, a chateau near to Angers. There was little time for preparation, but the director was fortunate enough to find the location pretty early on in his uh, location spotting mission. So now it's Benoit Magimel to have, uh, it's his turn to have his photo taken. He has often been for photo calls, of course, in, including this year, because he's in three projects this year. He uh, starred in uh, The King of Algiers, which was a, a midnight screening. He's in The Potiphar, which we're here for today. And he was also in the film Rosalie, which was in the Un Certain Regard section. So Benoit Magimel won his Best Actor Award for The Piano Teacher by Michael Haneke. He was in Standing Tall in 2016, a film by Emmanuel Berko. 
and uh, Emmanuel Berko's film Peaceful was one which got him a Best César award for here in France. And um, then he was in 2023, he was in the Albert Serra Pacification, and he got the French César award for the Best Actor in that film as well. So here we have uh, Benoit and Juliette, a couple on screen for the film The Potiphar, directed by Tran and Horn, which is in competition at the 76th Cannes Film Festival. The character Dordain, played by Benoit Magimel, prepares a special stew, a potiphar, for Eugenie, who has been his cook for 20 years. And Juliette Binoche plays the role of that cook. You can see how close they are. And that was the reason why Tran and Hong chose these two very actors, because of their closeness. They're obviously very, very close, although they're not a couple anymore in real life. Benoit Magimel is well known for the piano player Michael Haneke. Merci, monsieur. And at the very, very beginning of his career, he was well known for French films, particularly Life is a Long Quiet River. That was back in 1988. This is Pierre Gagnier, the uh, culinary expert who was the advisor to the film. He's having fun there, having his photo taken. Not a regular here. He's just uh, saying to the photographers in the kitchen, we make a lot less noise than you photographers are making. So he's a Michelin star rated chef and he has been the culinary coach for the film, directed by Tran and Hoon. So this gentleman helped the director to synchronize everything that was going on in a kitchen, which is no small task when a kitchen crew is working around in the kitchen, going from the cooker to the workbench to the washing station. It's like a whole ballet that needs to be uh, choreographed. And here we have the director, Tran An Ho. His latest film, The Puddle Foot, is in competition here in Cannes at the 76th Cannes Film Festival. The critics, once again, are not uni unanimous in their judgment of the film. Some are for it, some less enthusiastic. Here he is with Tran Anyuki. The film is based on a novel written by a Swiss author, Marcel Ruff. It's a book which was written in early on in the 20th century, 1924 in fact, by Marcel Ruff, Swiss writer. In the film, there are other French actors than Emmanuel Selanger, then uh, who has worked with Dépéchin in the past, for example, and uh, Patrick Dassomso, who was in Stranger by the Lake, directed by Alain Giroudi. That got that film in 2013 got the Best Director Prize. For a long time, Jan Anhong has been looking for a film about food, and he came across this wonderful book written by Marcel Ruff in 1924 and thought, well, this is the story for me. And so those wonderful, well, that wonderful story and that great book inspired him for this film. Thank 
Jan and Hong won the golden camera, the caméra d'or, with his first film here in 1993. It was called The Scent of Green Papaya. And then in 1995, he brought his film Cyclo. Rather, he made his film Cyclo, and that won the Golden Lion in uh, Venice. In 2000, he made The Vertical Ray of the Sun, which was in the Ansatin Regard section here in Cannes. And here he is, back in Cannes 2023, with the Pot au Feu, which is in competition. Juliette Binoche there on your screen in her red trouser suit. Pierre Gagnier is the um, culinary expert. Tran and Hong, the director, they're all heading to the press conference where the journalists are waiting for them. So this film um, has got some positive and some less positive uh, reports in the press. It's a film all about gourmet cuisine. Pierre Gagnier was the coach, a consultant, if you like, about all things, all questions culinary. He helped prepare the different dishes that are featured in the film so that uh, the director knew what was needed to be filmed. <laughs> yeah. There we have Juliette, Juliette Binoche, happy to be in Cannes. She's on her way to the press conference. Perhaps she'll sign some autographs on her way. Tran and Hong made his previous film in 2015. It was called Eternity. Juliette mm -hmm. Binoche has been to Cannes on many, many occasions. She got best actresses for the film. Certified copy, directed by Abbas Kiarostami, that was in 2010. Benoit Majimed has been here many, many times. Last year, he was here with the film Pacification. In previous years, he's been here in Emmanuel Berko films, one called Standing Tall and another one called Peaceful. <laughs> And Majimel won French César prizes for those two films as well. And he got the best actor prize for the piano teacher. And in, in, the, and in that same film, Isabelle Huppert got the best actress prize. That was back in 2001, but the rules have changed since then. So here we have Benoit Magimel signing autographs. He's always happy to interact with uh, the journalists and the uh, onlookers and the fans. He's absolutely everywhere right now in art house films, in comedies. He was in uh, the film King of Algiers, which was screened here in Cannes at a midnight screening. Comedy film. And now here he is in a gourmet film called The Pot au Feu, directed by Tran An Hung, who is Franco Vietnamese. Ah, 
À bientôt. Merci. Ça va,